Okay, once again, wrestling fans, I'm Harry Bernard Taylor. I'm here with my man, Michael King. The Asian sensation. And my man, Christopher Burton. The People's Podcast. This is the Straight Up Wrestling Show Podcast. And we're going to talk about AEW Dynamite from June 20... What? what the? Yeah, we're going to do June 26th and we're going to do the uh, June 30th. So the Saturday show and then we're going to do the Wednesday show. What, man? <laughs> what, man? What, man? No, I know. You you swinging, man. I was just like, what, what's going on? What's going on? You swinging. I, I'm getting attacked. I, I thought I was man. getting attacked. I thought I'm some gonna... wrestler had came up and said, you ain't going to talk about me on this podcast. <laughs> no, no uh, we, we're out here. We're out here doing this uh, for uh, for for y'all. Uh, we're out here uh, in, in in the middle of the night, and we got bugs uh, kind of <laughs> kind of getting on we us a little bit. You, but we we're enjoying you. what we're doing, and we're here to bring this podcast either way it go. But so Chris, <laughs> Christopher started uh, swinging at uh, at some bugs or whatever, and it kind of it kind of boogie man, boy, you coming to get me? Kind of got me a little bit. <laughs> right. so, so if it was me talking, I would have just said we're camping and left it at that. <laughs> Hey, we save some face. Hey, we, this is a face worth saving. <laughs> hey, but it is what it is. Yep. And uh, so, uh, all right. So uh, let's get in that first match, shall we? Oh, okay. Hey, I'll see you. Kick us off. Well, uh, I'm, Chris, I'm gonna let you do it because I'm I'm kind of off a little bit right now. So, uh, all right. Uh, no, wait a minute. No, I'm, no, I will go ahead and I will kick it off. Yeah, right, that little tease there. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm hey, sorry. Oh, man. Uh, I yeah. think my match, man. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with that Dante uh, Martin versus Matt uh, Sidell match. Uh, Sidell. Okay. Uh, okay. But um, you know, I like Matt Sidell. Uh, si it's Sidell, right? Yeah, Sidell. Yeah. Sidell. Okay, I like my, Matt or, Sidell. Or as uh, Andrade says, Matt something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Matt I like, I like the way he came out. Uh, the, when uh, Andrade was out there and uh, Vicky brought him out there, excuse me, excuse yeah. me. That is so. Oh my God! I don't know how long that thing is gonna. It run. is so funny, man. But okay, Andrade was out there, man. He's you know he's dressed dressed to the T. Yeah, yeah, doing his thing, get ready to talk, man. You know he's he's interfering with the match. Dante Martin's already out there. Yeah, and you know Andrade because uh, Vicky come out and she introduced him and Andrade he he come out, man, and he. He's got the mic, and Matt Sadow come out, and he was like, he just looked at him, gave him this look like, I just know you ain't disrespecting. You ain't getting in, in the way of my match. He said, this is my time. You can go and get, you know, you yeah, can go yeah. and do your thing somewhere else. Yeah. So um, I thought that was I thought that was pretty awesome, and he went in there, man, and he went in there arrogant, arrogant like, but it was his time. Yeah. And like say, don't. Don't impede on the man's time. Don't yeah. don't try to put your mark on this man's on this man's business. Stay out of his yeah. business, man. You know, stay out of his zone. So, um, and you know, and it's something funny about that match. If y'all heard the commentary, Jr. said basically Matt Seidel has been wrestling for twenty years. Yes, when <laughs> I was shocked when, when man. Dante. Dante is just now 20 years old. Yes, yes. I was like, wait, how, what, what kind of math? Is, how does this work? But Matt Sidell, <laughs> Matt Sidell, uh, he pinned his mom when yeah. he was born and he's been going from there. And you exactly. can tell too, yeah. like that 20 years, man, you could tell that his experience, man, it was heavily displayed throughout the match. Yeah. Man, I mean, you know, uh, he, he knew every move that Dante was going to do. And it was it was nothing that he hadn't seen before. So man, and I mean, even though Dante did pull out some awesome yes, moves, yes, he did. I mean, but I mean, Sidell, man, you know, if he's been in the ring for twenty years, so I mean, even if he started at a teenager, I mean, this yeah. man is close to forty years old. I mean, he he kept up with the, with the teen uh, with the young guy uh, yeah. pretty well, well and they, I mean, they, yeah, he outmatched him. The, the young lion. Yes, yes. <laughs> The young line. I always wonder what. They but yeah, man, uh, Sidell, uh, man, uh, Sidell. Yeah. He he showed he showed he showed himself in this match, man. Uh, I was I was really um, I was really impressed with what he done, man. Uh, so um, and, and like you say, Dante Martin, he put in work, man. Oh yeah. He put in work. He, he just he he just didn't overcome Matt Sidell, and like you say, it's that, it's that the twenty year age difference that uh that experience. That that experience uh, put uh, Sidell over the top, man. So I'm going to give the match a, a solid three. 
I'll give it a 3.5. Okay. I, what are your comments on that? You've been... I give it 3.5. Okay. Okay, okay, 3.5. So, all right. Pretty good solid uh thing right now. Now, now we come to a, a good one since we got that out of the way. The match of the night, right? Yeah, yeah, the match of the night. Kenny Omega versus Jungle Boy. Who is trying to get... <coughs> No, 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 no. I'm getting ahead of myself. Press pause on that. But about this match. Mm -hmm. It was a damn good match. Extremely competitive. Jungle Boy basically got pushed to the limit. He had to do some things that he usually wouldn't do in a match. I mean, he literally had to put on submission a couple of times. Where in any other match, that would be once. He kicked out, showing the heart of a champion in his fight, his grit. Um, you know, so... And Kenny Omega, he, he brought out the best in him. Which the champion's supposed to do. Right. Uh, going back to somebody who shall remain nameless, because we're going to stay on track. He goes in and basically wrestles a, a, a mop and makes it look like a million bucks. And I'm just going <laughs> to say, woo! Uh, that's all I'm going to say on that. But uh, but yeah, that's what Kenny did. Kenny put him over. Yes, and and while while still winning. Yes, and yes. That, that's something. That's a very uh, lost art. And that's something a lot of these indie guys need to understand and learn. It's you can lose a match and still come out the winner. Right. <laughs> exactly. Right. And I think that's exactly what happened with Jungle Boy. He he lost the match, but he really. He came out the winner yeah. because, you know, we had this discussion not too long ago about how you can't put a belt on him. Yeah. And I said you can't put a belt on that gimmick. And I'm saying now but him, I can't wait for him to lose that gimmick because he he can have a belt. Yeah, yeah, he can. He can. I can see him. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't too. I wasn't too um, overjoyed with him in the match. Uh, Jungle Boy. Kenny Omega is just world class yeah uh jungle boy but i could see him in four years becoming like a a, a sting or somebody yeah uh, really i can see him really uh propelling himself if, if, you, if, if he if he stays the way he if he if he continues to go and somebody if they can continue to push him i can see him progressing to where he's um one of the top guys in the sport one of the top three to four guys in the sport really but uh, I, I, only, I'm just gonna say this, Chris, because of the because of uh, how over he is with the fans. Oh, good lord, man! Yeah. Um, but he, he, in the eyes of the fans, he can't do nothing wrong. Right. He but can't do nothing wrong. I think, I think he need to be a little more aggressive. Yes. With mm -hmm. with his uh with his body attacks. Yes. Because he, when he, when he gets up on his opponent, it just it it just it's just really weak. Yeah. And so um. And you just can't go out like that uh, against somebody like Kenny Omega. And Kenny Omega, like I say, being a professional he is, he carried him and made him look a lot better than oh, what he actually was. Which, which is a true mark yes. of the champion. Yes, and I mean, and, but Omega, man, he really impressed uh, impressed me with what he done in the match. And like I say, there's a lot more things that he's done over the years that's way more impressive and, and, than and that. What was so, and what really got me, what really got me about Omega and his skill in this match he made you really believe that Jungle Boy was gonna beat him at any possible moment. Right, right. And Jungle Boy, Jungle Boy got uh, uh, his finisher in a couple times. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, a couple of times. Yeah, he got his finisher in there a couple of times, man. So uh, I get, I give both men their props on this, and um, you know, I, I can't really say too much, uh, too much else on the match. I, I can't. Um, I can't put uh, Jungle Boy down any. I can't put him down in the match. Uh, all I can do is say that in three to four years, if he stays on the same course, he's gonna he he should some great uh, could come out of it. But um, I, I don't know uh, because um, three to four years is a long time. Yeah, there's a lot there's a lot of wrestlers that's gonna come up during that time. So what, uh, what, what so, are your thoughts on it, Michael? I mean, you got any insight on it? I think Jungle Boy, with some seasoning, he could be 
Steamboat, snooker. Seasoning, you mean like potato yeah. salad without the raisins? <laughs> <laughs> no, like a little bit of pepper. You're right. A little bit of pepper. pepper? Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It needs a little bit of spice. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right? Okay. Throw some spice on that. I think he can be a steamboat, a snooker, Tito Santana. Yes. Ooh, yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. Okay. And, and I mean, you know, that's the way I saw uh, see him. And I mean, he's um, he's right. He's right on the cusp. And right. and, and I hated to think of his his upbringing. To, that that made him that that's got him to where he's and I, I know he came up as a wrestling fan and he's been wanting this ever since he was like nine years old. Yeah. So um, now I wish I wish the one thing I would have loved to see if his dad was here to see. It. Yes, I would. If, yeah, Luke, that would be awesome. Yeah, that would be that awesome. Put it over the top. Uh, but you know, this kid, I'm pretty sure he went to private school. He never, um, he probably wasn't. He never even probably wrestled in in, in middle school. Oh, uh, high school. He he might he might not even did any physical type sport. Yeah. Uh. So. But fans, you never know. He might have. He he probably have. Yeah. Fans, if you know any background uh, pre AEW Jungle Boy, let us know. Yes. Yes. Hit us up in the comments, please. And, yes, and hit like, share, and subscribe, and hit that ding 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 bell to be notified. That's it. That's it. Okay. Well, what's the next match? Well, I. Go okay, ahead. go ahead, Chris. I'm sorry. Uh, well, I was going to say, give that match a... I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give it a five. Mm. I had a 4.5 on that one. Woo-wee, man. Y'all are nice. I'm going to give it a five, <laughs> I man. I can't do it, man. I'm going to give it a five. I, I, I can't, I can't Harry do just, it. Harry just I, I wishes that, it, that they had straps and they just, like, hit each other with pillows all it, night. That would exactly. been a five. Exactly. Yeah, that would have <laughs> been a five-star match. Hit, I, I give Kenny Omega a five. <laughs> I give Johnny. I give Jungle Boy three point five. I'm gonna. I give it a four. Okay. Right. Four. Okay, four point okay. five. Give it four. Five. Yes. Right, okay. Yes. That works. Okay. Um. So next up. Well, next, next up. You know, it was a great night for anybody with the last name of Page. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yes, that's true. Pretty that's much. true. So, um, Hangman Page defeated Hobbs. So, I've been a fan. Uh. Recently, of Hangman Page. Yeah. Um, Once again, another New Japan guy. Yeah. Yes. And, and you know, <laughs> uh, it's it's kind of like a theme. You know? Exactly. <laughs> but um, I'm not. I'm still not sure what they're going to do with the story. Mmm. Well, I tell you what, we can actually put a pin on that story part because it's gonna. <laughs> it's going to come back full circle, but go ahead and finish your story, Michael. So, I'm, I'm not sure what they're doing with the story. I thought it was I thought it was a good match. It was a solid match. It wasn't dynamic. Yeah. You know, but yeah. it was... It, it was what it, it was. What it, right. was. It, 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 it checked all the boxes of what you wanted for a solid match. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, it wasn't too over the top, but it wasn't... Uh, Hey, anybody wants some popcorn or something to drink? <laughs> exactly. Well, Adam Page is better than what he showed in this match. Oh, good I mean, lord, yes, in, man. In my good opinion. Lord. Oh, my God. And, yes. and that's probably because of who he was wrestling. But um, Now, Hobbs ain't no slouch. No, he's right. no slouch. He's no slouch. But, um, you know, uh, but it, it's just, I don't know. It seemed like, um, you, you know, matchups, it, you know, uh, matchups can, um, mean something. Yeah, yeah. And I just think that was a bad matchup. Yeah, they don't always mesh. That's right, that's because right. Because you can wrestle a guy a million times. Right. And then that one time on TV, you've worked with him, y'all know each other like mm -hmm. the back of your hand, but that one time on TV, it just don't click. Right. Yes. And, and and we've seen it. Right. We, we've seen it. And I think that's what I, I, we, I meant by it checked all the boxes for a good match, yeah. but there was n nothing that was exceptional that you know kept you there at the edge of your couch right, running, right? yeah yeah uh, so but, but and that's i think to, to go back one match the omega and um jungle boy match that whole it could it could end at any moment yeah kind of yes. thing kept you leaning forward yeah. this one this match you didn't leave to get the popcorn. You already had the popcorn, but you're like lean back into the popcorn. Exactly. It was comfortable, man. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It was. It wasn't just like, you know, it didn't draw you in like the Kenny Omega match. Right. right. Because the Kenny Omega match, you were sitting leaning back. Next thing you know, you literally up on the TV on your hands and knees, like, oh god, is he gonna do? It? No. Okay. Right. Is he gonna? No. 
it wasn't that match. Right. It, but but you know, I mean, Page, you know, he impressed me with his high kicks. You know, the high kicks to the face, to uh, Hobbs face. And you know, I, I like his his lariat, man. Uh, the lariat that he uh. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah. That, that was pretty strong, man. And uh, Hobbs that cross body block, man. That that was pretty solid. That was pretty solid too. Uh, the finish wasn't bad, but you know, I still give uh give the match a, a two point five. Two point five. Yeah, ooh, I, I give ooh. it a two point five, man. It's, it's two point five is popcorn city. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, 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 it is, man. I'll at least go ahead and give one more and give it a three. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a two point. Yeah, y'all can give it a three, but I gave it a two point five. Yeah. I thought ooh. about going to the refrigerator and get some juice a couple times <laughs> wow. doing that match. I really did, man. Please. So, uh, you know, I Yikes. and 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 this um. And uh, Jim Ross, man, uh, you know, he's talking to Tony Schiavone. He's talking about, um, well, you know, at first he was saying, uh, you know, Saturday night. It's kind of like it used to be. But uh, then he started uh, comparing uh, Hobbs to a young Butch, Butch Reed back in his prime, man. He's talking about, yeah. And I was just like, no flipping way, man. You know, to me, that was an insult. Uh, so that's why it went down. Jim Ross said, yeah, 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 yeah. he said, nope, this, this is a zero match now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, and I, 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 it probably did. Because like I said, I was insulting, man. And because I think I don't think Powerhouse Hobbs is, is nowhere near the caliber of a young Butch, Butch Reed. So, yes, it, it, it might have threw me a little bit, but I don't think so, man. Well, the match just wasn't well, that good. And, and it wasn't that good. And on top of that, you can understand what Hobbs is saying on the mic. Well, Butch Reed sounds like he always talked with a mouth full of rocks. <laughs> Butch Reed down this uh, talking with his fists and his muscles. Yeah, that's true, man. That's true. <laughs> well, I know. Ah, right, that is true. I'm like, what was this joker saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I don't want to be on the receiving end of it. Exactly. Yeah, that was a powerful man. That was a powerful man, man. Goodness yeah, I think John Cena would have made fun of him and, and his promos. Oh, like, oh yeah. my God! Oh. Hey, yeah, I think he, Butch Reed would take. Care of him in the locker yeah, room. Butch Reed, rest in peace, brother. Yeah, he would have, yeah, definitely. Rest in peace. But like I said, I ran into that man one time, him, Teddy Long, and Ron Simmons Dude. outside of Hot Spot in Greenville, in Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, it was around 1992. I think they got finished wrestling the Steiners uh, at the auditorium. And man, I'm coming in, man. They was in the limo and they was they was getting some snacks up there at Hot Spot. And they both up there standing up there, man. And they, I went walking by, but all I could do, I just looked to the side and said, Doom, they were just shaking their head, like that's right, brother. <laughs> that's all I can say was doom. Them joke was huge, man. I was like, oh man. Oh, but yeah, nice guys, though, man. They, they was pretty cool, yeah, pretty cool guys. All right, so then we had Ethan Page beating Bronson, yes, and then we had the, the token women's match with. <laughs> Statlander and Bunny. So Statlander getting the victory there. Yeah, that. Uh, I like that match. I like the power slam Statlander hit, hit the Bunny with on the outside yeah. of the ring. And I yeah. love the Bunny. I, I like her realness, man. She 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 has a realness about her that uh, she. I mean, she she's very believable. Uh, she just looked crazy. She just <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's crazy. I believe she, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she she brings that. She brings that to a match. Just, man, and it's, it's kind of exciting. But uh, they, I like that. So, what do you give the overall June 26th, Saturday Night Dynamite? I give it a 3.5. Because I gave uh, the Bunny uh, versus uh, Statlander, that match, I give it a 3.5. And I give Paige and Bronson a 3.5. And for some reason, it rolled into a 3.5. So you, like, you like the Paige Bronson more than the Paige Hobbs? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm, wow. Okay, wow. I guess I'm on the reverse end of that one. I, I don't know what it, it, like I said, Adam Page, man, you know, he was slowed down in that match. He was slowed down in that match. expecting more. I was less. expecting more. Yes, I was expecting more because I think Adam Page is a very good performer. And I think for some reason it took away from his ability in this match against well, uh, this, Powerhouse Hobbs. Like this next time, just lower your expectations. <laughs> drop, drop your expectations down, man. Instead of, you know, out of a 10, you already at like 15, and the match only gives you a 2. That's kind of right, right. so, hard. So just, just remember, when your kids come home with that report card and you get the C's, <laughs> just lower your expectations. <laughs> hey, exactly. 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 <laughs> I mean, okay. come on, man. Y'all know little Bobby and little Susie better than anybody. All right. You know, yeah, you want them to be the best they can be, but... Sometimes you just got to be realistic. Yes. Yep. <laughs> All right, so what you going to give that uh, card, uh, Chris? The card? Yes. Oh, man. I'm, 
I say two matches are gonna carry that show once again. Omega. Omega and Sidell. So I'll give that overall a 4.5. Yes. I get a four. Um, one of the things, I did not like the Hardy family antics. Yeah, yes, that, yes, that was, yeah, that yeah, that, that, uh, the annex of that from the outside Conan of the room. with no teeth. Oh, in man. Mouth, oh man, oh man, that well, was oh, gosh. Well, so, did you read the story got, about the Conan segment almost didn't happen? No, what okay, so he didn't show up until 45 minutes before because there was like some sort of COVID protocols that delayed him, and then right, another delay getting oh, into Jacksonville, geez. and Jacksonville's. <laughs> So he, Con almost, Conan, he doesn't look good, man. No, and he didn't know what he was going to say until 45 minutes and before then the show. He, there's, mm. no, there's no communication right. what yeah. that segment was about. And then he went off into the, the quote-unquote political. Yeah. And I was like, oh. Oh, man. Well, I didn't actually really listen to that part, man. Well, he did. He did. He did yeah, went into he, it a little bit. Yeah, and like I say, we want to kind of stay away from that. We yeah. want to stay away from the politics. We're not. But, that's not, I, I not what we're about. away from the politics. Yes, yes that's true. But I'm guessing that's because. That's true where AEW does, does have some of that in there. Mm -hmm. and, and, and with AEW. And I wish they would stay away from it. But, you know, it. And then when you. It's get, something we got to tolerate right now. Yeah. And then on top of that, too, uh, not to elongate the segment, but. When you got somebody like Conan, you know, that feels how he feels and strongly about certain issues or whatever, and you really don't get a chance to communicate with him about what's going to happen in the segment, yes. of course he's going to come off the top. Yeah, yeah. right. He's going to come off the top. Right. And especially if he truly had any alt feelings or ill will toward Tully. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Some of that realness is going to come out. That's right. true. But yeah, the show overall, Harry, did you give a grade for the show? It said uh, 3.5. 3.5, yes. 3.5. And Mike, what'd you say? Four. Four, and I give it 4.5. Okay. Okay, wow. B plus B, C plus. Yeah. So what, B? Yeah, B. Okay, so B. We, we'll go with a B. I, I, can, I, can, I can deal with that. I mean, it's better than Raw, right? No, good guy. Yes. Okay, and then what did it Raw end up with? Four was it four point five? I can't remember what we we gave it a high grade. Yeah, we gave it, a, I think overall four. it ended with the four. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was so, four. But it was better than it was better than so, raw. Oh I mean, even though like it, even though these uh, AEW uh, segments might ended up with with a lower score, mm -hmm. the overall quality of the show is that, better. Yeah, the overall quality of the mm -hmm. show and the matches. Yeah, and, so don't don't get yeah. us wrong. Don't get us wrong. Now, don't get me wrong if I if I come up with something crazy. But that doesn't mean I'm thinking that Raw, that WWE and, and SmackDown and Raw is delivering better. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just if you, better if you think, up. if y'all think he's crazy, just say it in the comments. <laughs> yeah. Because what do we want you to do? We want you to hit, like, share, and, and subscribe. subscribe, and ding, 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 ring that bell. Yes. Yes, and please comment in the notifications. If there's anything that you want to cover that we might have forgotten in the show or there's something, anything wrestling related. All right. All right. So let's move on to the uh, next episode, June 30th of AEW Wednesday Dynamite. night. Wednesday night. And Whew. I'll tease it. It was, an, it was another good show. Man. Yes, it was All a great right. show. And oh, and uh, yeah, speaking of a great show, remember those pins I said in the last segment? Remember those because these are going to be very important. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. So, Harry, you you wanted to talk about Jack Evans and Jungle Boy. All right, man. Yes. Uh, and I was I was very interested in this match because I'm looking at Jungle Boy and coming off the match he had and with he got Omega. His 50th win. 50th win. Right. Right. So I'm I'm looking at progression. I'm looking at. Is this guy getting better and better? Yeah. And what they're trying to do with him and pushing him, uh, they, they're pretty much pushing him to the max. Uh, and uh, like I said, you know, then they, they threw in the Floyd Mayweather uh, comparison, mm -hmm. which I wish they wouldn't have done that. But, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they got that from. Yeah, but I wish they wouldn't have done that. But uh, I thought it was a good match. And again, and just like, um, just like, uh, just like, um, hey, who, who did he just, okay, just Omega. like Omega. Omega, I believe Omega carried him, and I have to say, I believe Jack e Evans carried, uh, carried Jack Perry. Ooh. I believe, I, I think he carried him. Ooh. 
Uh, his experience showed in this match. Um, I mean, he. Um, I mean, um, Jungle Boy was really good in this match. I will say that. Yeah, he was. He was. But, again, I will say this. If he was a little bit more aggressive, he would, it would bring, it would top, it would, it would not only that he, he beat, he would, that he uh, beat uh, Jack Evans because of his, you know, because of his submission yeah, or yeah, beat, yeah, beat yeah. Jack Evans because, you know, he did his holes and, you know, the holes and things like that in the, yeah. Things that he done was and and another thing too was, uh, that I loved about this match. Yes, they got rid of all the outside interference. Yes, they did. Yes, yeah. they did. Because that now I'm going to say there is a lot of that in AEW. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Now I'm going to say this, and I I'm, guess I'm kind of uh, a soothsayer, if you will, but I don't think the Jungle Express or whatever they call themselves is going to be around much longer because. Marco's stunt is a detriment to uh, Jungle Boy, as you can see, because he got thrown out first because the Good Brothers were standing on, you know, on the outside, whatever, and their thing, and you know, and oh, wait a minute, I'm going back. I'm going back. My bad. I'm going back. I thought so, but yeah, I'm going back. My bad, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. It's been a long night. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah, um, but yeah, I don't see that uh, the Jungle Express or whatever being around for uh, for that long. I, I really don't. What What are y'all thoughts on that? Or if y'all have any? I don't think he needs it. Yeah, I, I, I don't see a point of it. No, me either. Uh, I, I, I don't either. Um, but I, I gotta say, I disagree about Jack Evans carrying Jungle Boy in that match because I don't, I don't think that was the case at all. I do, um, but I mean, I mean, I res I respect your opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you're I think you're down on Jungle Boy, and I think that that taints your your view of what's going on. Yeah, man. I, I expect more. Yeah, you, you, you act like to do oh you money or something. No man, man I, I just expect more. I mean, with the way he's over and all that, I'm I'm just like uh, show me more. Show me why you're over. Okay, well, okay, well, okay, when you're okay, over okay. Fans, it's all about character. I know, prime, prime I know. Example, prime example, uh, Orange Cassidy then. He's over. I know he's over. I like Orange Cassidy. So what would you say about Orange Cassidy then? I, I rank I rank him I rank him lower than Jungle Boy. Uh but I like oh, him. Okay. Uh but you know, uh, I like Tang. <laughs> but, wow. He's, I call him Tang. <laughs> wow. wow. Uh, you know, I, okay, okay fans, that, that's another that's another that's another 80s reference. But <laughs> I, 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 I'm sorry. When I go into these matches, and Tang was pretty good back in the day. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> when I go into the, when I go into these matches, man, like I said, I'm looking for Jungle Boy to. I'm looking for him to take it to the uh, pinnacle, man. I'm looking for him to, man, uh, go into another stratosphere. I just, I'm, I'm looking for something amazing, man. I mean, this guy coming out like Tarzan, man. Come on, man. <laughs> and, and, and I mean, so. Uh, I mean, Tarzan, man, would uh, would Tarzan be that weak? I mean, but, I mean, come on, man. I, I don't know. For some reason, I get, man, he, when I, th when I talk about Jungle Boy, I'm just like, what is it, man? It's just something about him, man, that I can't really get out when I talk about him. Because I'm just like, man, I just see so much uh, that could be, that, so I see so much that could be there that's, that's not there at the moment. So, um, like I say, I mean, he... I'll take that back. He he outclassed uh, Jack Evans in this match. I, I, I'll, I'll go with that because now I'm seeing a different picture of it. But still, it wasn't – he didn't do it as, as, as so well that I think he was the – you know, that he was – that he that he outclassed him so much that he uh, brought this match higher than a, a 3.5. That's what I give it. Mm, okay. Okay. 3.5. Okay. I I agree with. I give the match overall three point five. That's what I give it. I, I can roll with that. I mean, it wasn't as good as the Omega match. Yes. Right? Oh lord. And I no, gave that a lord. four. So yeah. right. So Chris. Yes. Young Bucks. Ooh man, this match right here, man. Oh my lord. <laughs> this match was amazing. It, it was this. Actually, this match started off the show. 
It, it carried the show. It, it really did. It really did. It was a good match. And this was... Man, the Young Bucks... Okay, they look like traveling gypsies the way they dress. <laughs> yeah. Man, they tripping, man. I, 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 I like the Young Bucks. So. Yeah. I, I like them. The, 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 the teamwork and the, the moveset is amazing. The, the, the wrestling skills are unquestionable. Mm -hmm. but, but their fashion skills, that, that's, that's a little less to be desired. They, but, they look very Portland. Wow, man. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say Portland more so as uh, 70s porn stars. Well, that's Portland. They're, they're oh. still the hippie capital of the, of the country. Uh, I thought I was San Fran. No, no, no. They went up to Portland. It's oh. cheaper to live there. Okay, okay. <laughs> but <laughs> no yeah. sales tax. Oh, okay. Well, there <laughs> what did you think about the match, Michael? I thought it was. I thought it was a great match. I, I, I thought that match was the best match of the evening. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I didn't care for the outside interference, but man, overall, I give the match a five. Oh, good. Yeah, I yeah, did. I gave yeah, the match yeah. a five. I, I can agree with you on that. All um, long. It, it was really a good match, um, but man, I. I it just seemed like I've seen this match a lot, I mean, but but they they still bring it every time they, they these these four uh, face yeah. off against each other. And, so um, and and, and, and Eddie, this was the best one I've seen so far. Yeah, so that's Eddie great. Kingston, that was great. Uh, Eddie Kingston's gonna be what Eddie Kingston is. He's gonna be the punching bag. Mm -hmm. yeah. I thought he was the man at one time. He didn't look that great in this match to I, me. I don't remember when, but okay. No, I thought he. Uh, hey, man, I'm just talking about as the time that I've started back watching wrestling. Oh. I thought so. I thought a lot of it, uh, Eddie Kingston, and I know I know you don't, but I, I just Eddie. Eddie's that that street guy. Yeah. Street knowledge scrapper that has just enough wrestling ability to get by. Yes. And and make something look decent. And that's what I saw in this match. And that's it. But he's he's a tough he's a tough man, and I mean it it brought it brought uh it brought that sensation to the match. So and then Penta. Oh gosh, man, he's Penta Zero. Penta special, man. Penta what is it? Penta L Zero Miro. Yeah, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, something like that. I mean, yeah. you know, he's long. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna yeah he's gonna come in like a house of fire. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, so, and do what he does. Right. Well, oh. What you get a match? I give a five, man. Overall, I get a five. I'm. I think. I think the Bucks are are better than Kingston and Penta. Oh, yes. good lord! Yes, um, yes. They are. They are. Kingston's the weak link in this whole thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I agree there. I'm and not, I, I, and I didn't think he was the weak link uh, before this okay. week. And that's but, and that, and he but with these me. with these three guys, yeah. he's in the ring with. Mm -hmm. He's the weak link. Yes. Yeah, yes. And now, I, I didn't think that before. Now, if if Penta had his brother Ray Phoenix, yes. Now that would have been a whole nother thing. Yes. But I don't think it could have got any better than this. I, it, you can't no. get too too much better than yeah. this. I'm not, I mean, I'm not a fan of Penta, but he is skilled and talented, and I, I acknowledge He that. reminds me of a, a oversized Ray Mysterio. Yeah, it, 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 That's it, what he reminds me of, an oversized Ray Mysterio. All right, before we go to the next match, man, that uh, Ethan Page looks like a real bong hole to me, man. <laughs> you know, that you Darby about? attack, man. I'm just like, man, this is just crazy. So, uh, but I just wanted to throw that in there. But Ethan Page being interviewed and then Sting and Darby j jumping. Yeah, after yes, he, after yes. he came out and wanted a coffin match. Right, you know, right. I think what was that the week before? Was that Saturday night? Mm -hmm. Yes. He he said he wanted that coffin match mm -hmm. and wanted to be the nail in the coffin, which he said about thirty times. Yeah. And Lord and behold, he comes out and does an interview and. Who shows up with a coffin but Sting and Darby Allen? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. and, yeah, that. Yeah. I, I don't understand that whole thing, to be honest with you, if, if we're going to talk about that. Well, but, but still, I, th I think it was executed. Uh, even even Ethan Page with the, you know, in, and, and, uh, and with uh, Darby, Darby and Sting got. I think everything was executed right as far as the outside, uh, outside antics there. Yeah. So you know, I I think that was perfect too. So, um, yeah, but so it far, it doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't. It but doesn't. It's like, hey, Sting, you stay home. I don't want you around in my I know, match. I you know. stay home. You leave me alone. <laughs> And I'm going to have two people beat me up. And then the next week after I got beat up, I'm going to hide and you hide. And the, then the two of us good guys will jump him. Right. It makes no sense whatsoever. And, and, no, it doesn't. And then Sting, but, but Sting, I need you to help pull me out in the right. coffin so I can jump this guy. Exactly. Right. It, made, it, it undid everything that he was trying to say 
by telling Sting not to exactly, interfere. Exactly. Exactly. I can beat two men by myself, but, I, but I need two. I need two people to beat up one man. Yes. So uh, that's that's the part that is like it. It counteracted everything yeah. from the previous. All right. So for my match, I chose the ladies. Uh, okay. Because, DMD because Michael King loves the ladies. Michael King <laughs> loves the ladies. So uh, Baker and Rebel against uh, Rose and Guerrero. I am not a fan of Vicky Guerrero. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So when she was commissioner over at WWE and she oh, did that excuse yeah, me thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was annoying, but I was amused. Of course. Right? Of course. Of course. Of course. Now. I'm no longer amused. It's just annoying. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. um, she's she's nothing to watch in a match. Oh, good lord, no, man. All right. She comes in, she's kicks, punches, screams, hollers, slaps, mm -hmm. and then makes a tag. That's exactly. her move set. <laughs> and so I thought, I felt that it was a, a waste of you know, Brit and Rebel. Oh God, yeah, yes, man. yeah. Um, also, and the other reason I picked this is uh, very unfortunate, but Rebel legit got hurt yeah. in that match. Mm -hmm. Carried, carried out to back to the, the yeah. locker room. Um, it didn't look pretty. And that was about Nyla, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, I don't know if that was Nyla's fault. I think Rebel was sliding in and kind of into Nyla, but it was her own doing. Yeah. Yes. So I don't think we can she just blame mis it. Just mistimed it. Yeah. But yeah, besides all that, man, I, I I like the match a lot. I mean, yes, I did. I was entertained by it. Um, I mean, the table put it over the top for me. Usually, I don't like anything to t anything to do with a table when it comes to matches. Oh, but for some but, but reason, for putting a woman through the table. Yeah, but some, hey, that. man, that, I was I was stunned, man. I was stunned. I was stunned, man. I, I get that. I like I get it. That. I was you. stunned, Chris. I was stunned. I didn't. Well, I didn't well, expect you, it. If that if that blow your mind, go back and look at Britt Baker. And Dynamite, when she had that, uh, I think it was like a hardcore match. Right. She I, actually bled. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember yeah. That. yeah. But, yeah. If you think that going through a table was something. <laughs> but even before going through the table, I thought it was pretty good. So, man, I'm going to give that match a 4.5. Wow. Four. Yes. I was okay. thinking 3.5, but. Okay, yeah. I, I, I'll give it maybe a 4. I'll give it a 4. Okay. Okay. So, we'll go with a 4 on that. Okay. Um. So then the other matches, let's see, we got the Kingston Penza, Jungle Boy, Miro defeated Pillman Jr. Oh, I, wow. I, I kind of saw that one yeah, coming. I see, yeah, man, that, that right there. Miro, I almost covered this one because Miro, formerly known as Rusev, has been a beast. He's been everything that I pictured he could be at WWE that WWE would never let him do. Is that, yes. Right? I would love to see a Miro Samoa Joe kind of a match, Woo, you know? Good mm -hmm. lord. Man. Yes. In the words of JR, that would be bowling shoe ugly. <laughs> man, I, 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 But in a good way. I, I felt bad for Pillman. And I mean, uh, Pillman Jr. He, uh, Doing his interview, I thought that was a great interview. Oh he, yeah, the interview was yeah. He was smoking doing uh, doing that interview. So man, I'm gonna give him a five for the interview. I give him a two for the match. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, I give a I give a and I'll, I'll give Miro I, I I take Miro uh, a five for the match. Miro dominated the match. Of course, you you expected that him to dominate. And, uh, now, I don't. I just don't understand this religious righteous thing that he's angle he's trying to go with. I, that mm -hmm. I ain't getting that. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Yeah, I'm not quite understanding that. You can leave that out, man. That that's not really enhancing your character. Yeah, man. But he mm -hmm. he like one. You know, it's not. But man, Miro is a bad man. He's definitely one of the best in the in the in the business today, man. In the sport. Uh, so I'm just gonna, I don't know, man. I, I'm gonna give the match, I'm gonna give the match a five. No, no, I'm gonna give it Whoa, a four. It was oh, a four. Okay, it was four. Yeah. Because you, you, like I said, you give Miro a five. No, I'm just looking at that five that I gave Pillman for his uh, interview. But okay. Pillman, like I say, Pillman pulled the match down. But Miro, I give him a five for the match and I give Pillman a, a two. But I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add in that five, man, to with that end of his interview time to jump the match up to a four. So, so what? 
Good lord, okay. Because okay. otherwise it would have been a three, but I'm giving it a four. I'm about to say, man, I'm about to break out the calculator meat, throwing out all kind of yes. numbers. <laughs> Just uh, divide by pi at the end and you'll have it. Right. Out. <laughs> exactly. So what, what kind of number are you going to give him up? A four. My I, brother? I, I'm just infatuated with Miro, so yes. I'll give it a four. I'm, I'll give it a, I'll give it a 3.5. Okay, all right. okay. All right. Um, and then, let's see, MJF yes. defeated Guevara. Oh, yeah. man, I love this match, man. That match you know, was... Whew. It wasn't my favorite of the night, but it was good. You know, mm -hmm. it kept us engaged throughout the whole match. I loved it. Yeah. There was no need for the interference, though. No, yeah. no, You know, it took all. away from... You know, it's an exciting ending, man. But, uh, but it if was, you it look was at great. The, if you look at the overall show, yes, the Pinnacle interfered or did some underhanded stuff the whole entire show. That's true. That's so true. So they were like, you know what? We might as well keep this particular <laughs> ball rolling. Yeah. And and that, and that made sense. And it made sense. Yeah, but I uh, mean that that was a good match. Oh, but MJF, man, I, I'm really really impressed. So. um I, I mean, I like I like I like his interviews. I like I, I like I like the way he he, he speaks. I'm better I like, than you. Yeah, I'm better than you. I like I like his look, the way he. Uh, I'm talking about his facial expressions yeah. and everything yeah. like that. Man, it's like you know, hey, I know I'm the I'm the I'm the shiznit in this in he, this place. He could have been a horseman, right? Yes, he could have. He could have been a horseman. And uh, man, I'm on uh, I'm gonna take you apart. Um, so um, I mean, I, I really like him. I hated that Sammy got jumped at the beginning of the uh, show, though. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, like I mean, Sammy. That, yeah, that was that was uncalled yeah, for. Sammy, Sammy, he's a, he's a good guy, man. He's, you're, he's someday good. you're going to have a Sammy versus Jungle Boy match. Yeah. Mm, I can see. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. I can see that. I could definitely uh, see that at some point. And 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 yeah, he he kind of uh, when I was watching that match, I kind of thought about that. Those two. I can see um, that at some point happening. Yeah. Those two kind of mirroring, uh, have a mirror image of each other. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, that was a great match, man. Um, I give it four point five. Oh wow! Um, I give it a four. Yeah, I give it a four too, man. I'm gonna yes. give it a solid four too. Oh, okay. So overall, because we we covered we covered the show, um, but I did want to go back to something. Go back to something before. Okay. We yeah. Remember those pins I was telling you about? You talking about Hangman mm -hmm. Page? Yeah. Kenny Omega came out. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. the Dark Order and everything and the whole deal. If you remember in our last episode, I said there's going to be some pins and stuff and with Paige and all this. They're going, at some point, revisit Hangman Page because he's associated with the Dark Order. Yes. For Kenny Omega's title. Since Kenny Omega has basically said, now I've beaten the quote-unquote best that AEW has to offer or that you've given me I have nothing else to do but I have other belts I can go defend so mm -hmm. he's like you can catch me elsewhere yes. as far as AEW quote-unquote I'm I'm done I'm taking some time off but like I said at some point they're gonna revisit that whole hangman page Kenny Omega thing mm -hmm. what do y'all think about that hmm because you know what's gonna happen Oh yes, I, yes, it's gonna happen. I I think you on point there. Um, Sounds like when the big show broke up with the NWO. Yes. Mm. Hmm. You knew it was yes, gonna happen, yes. but oh, yeah. you weren't just ex overly excited when it happened. Yeah, because, well, there's that slow build up because he actually wanted the belt that Hogan had. Yeah. Right? And so it, it kind of sounds like that to me. Right, right. And, and it was funny how they kept hinting around the person I think you're thinking about is scared. And if, they're, <laughs> if you're talking about the person I think you're thinking about, he needs to come forth and contact me himself. And not have you speak for him, and <laughs> right. I'm like, come, on. I'm like, come on now, guys. We know who the hell y'all talking about. Oh yeah, yes. yes. talking about Hangman Page. We, come on, don't insult us like that. But I mean, it was a good segue, you know. It was, oh yeah, it was good. It was right. good. I can't, I can't, can't knock it. But yeah. So overall, for the show, overall, I would say of all the shows we covered for the week, you know, the the WWE Raw, WWE NXT from the previous segment, and then. Um, the two dynamites. This was the best of the four. Yes. Oh, good no, God. No doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so this is. 
I'll give it a five because five. I don't I don't see that there's going to be a show that's better. Maybe we have shows just as good, but I don't, I don't see mm. a show that's going to be better. Yeah, I give it a five. Overall, I thought the show was perfect and the way it should be done. And yeah. uh, if you're an indie out there or you know anybody that's in the the indie uh, independence in in this business, like I say. Make sure they, they they saw this episode. Uh, it was it was it was great, and I think it's the way it should be done. Yeah, uh, and, it you was know. basically one on one how to do a a match. And, Absolutely, and right. keep fans engaged. Yes, Absolutely. and 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 things went wrong. You know, Rebel got hurt. Yes. Um, things was wrong, and it's not always somebody else's fault if something goes wrong. Sometimes people do get hurt, and sometimes you have to find other ways to, to finish. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so you could have a perfect show overall, but have flaws, That's you know, right. mistakes That's, that happen. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yes. It's going to be errors either way it go. You know. Mm -hmm. So, um, but like I say, overall it, it was a five. Uh, Chris, what do you give it? I give that a. I give it a five point five. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean. It, like say, if we was going with the the six star system, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that, that that's probably one that hit. It. <laughs> yeah, I mean so, it, it was it was it was awesome. It so was this is this is the first where every single one of us are in agreement, and yeah. it happens to be we're all in agreement with like the five. Yeah, right? yeah. yes, because that show was man. Mm -hmm. it, but the only thing, well, I don't think it brought it down, but it was a laughable moment. Is you know it was a WWE Dynamite. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that was, yeah. Because I was like, "What did he just? What? What? He done? He done it for so long, man." So, mm -hmm. it, yeah, but you know, and I'm sure Jim Ross being doing it long as he is, and probably being hard and critiquing on himself, right? He realized he said it after the fact, and yeah. was probably yeah. beating himself over. Oh, this. And, sure. and while he was beating himself <clears throat> over this, he was happy that he wasn't working for Vince McMahon. <laughs> right. <laughs> because he would have said AEW and, and then oh, Vince yes. would have lost his shit. Yeah, yeah. no doubt. <laughs> oh, my no God. No doubt. But, yeah. um, man, it, it, yeah, it, it, was a, it was a great show. And, hey, if you like, like what we're saying, you like, like what's going on, hit that like, share, notification button. And uh, like Mike always say, ding, 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 ring that bell. And comment, 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 comment. If you like something, if you want us to talk about something, if there's something that interests you that we talked about that we might have forgotten, you want to bring to our remembrance, comment, 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 because we do this for you. You, the fans, are as much as part of the show as we are because we want to talk with you, not at you yes if there's any content that you would like for us to cover uh and, and something from the past or whatever or, or a certain wrestler or whatever to talk about you know give us some ideas and uh maybe we uh you know we can work some of that in because right now what we're doing we're covering uh we're covering AEW and we're covering covering wwf uh, I mean, WWE. <laughs> we're covering, okay, okay JR. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're covering the WWE and we're covering the AEW. We're covering it very hard right now. And, uh, you know, it, it's covering a lot of the segments that uh, that we're uh, talking about. But we want to go on uh, other platforms and we want to bring you different content. And we want to talk about other, uh, other things to, to where we can probably. New uh, Japan. Hey, New Japan. I like New <laughs> Japan. I was over Chris's house. Yes. And Chris turned it on. I like New Japan, so I will start watching that. And uh, hopefully, we can start. Uh, yeah, we can start uh, covering some of that. Uh, I'm gonna let Chris uh, handle that a little bit, and I'm gonna throw some in. I'm gonna try to catch as much as that if I can. And, we and then we got our man over here, the Asian sensation Michael King. I mean, I mean, hey, I'm sure he's got some uh, New Japan connections. <laughs> yes. Okay. And uh, but um, these two, the Asian sensation and the People's Podcaster, uh, uh, will be. Is something very exciting tomorrow? Yes, yes. Michael, you want to go over that? So we will be at, at APW American Pro Wrestling here in Boiling Springs. We are going to have some great matches. It's it, it's Scars and Stripes, uh, a.k.a. WrestleMania for WWE. This is our WrestleMania. Yes, yes. We're going yes, to have yes. three matches in a cage. Um, one of the matches is career versus career. Yes. Um, so it's going to be a great night. We'll, I think we'll cover what happens um, yeah, after we, it happens. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 definitely. I'm looking forward to it. Um, it yeah. won't be my first four -way, foray in a cage, 
the last time I was in cage, actually with the wrestler I'm representing, um, we broke the cage. So. <laughs> oh, oh, oh man, so <laughs> hey, so that lets you know, if you're on this side of the woods, come to 122 Builders Court, Bowling Springs, South Carolina, <clears throat> tomorrow night, Scars and Stripes, American Pro Wrestling presents Scars and Stripes. I, myself, Michael King will be there. It's going to be amazing. Uh, Harry, you're going to be there too, aren't you? Yes, I plan on it. I plan okay, on it. Okay. And, um, yeah, I plan on seeing some uh, great action. And hopefully, like I say, we have some great content. To We we have some great stuff to uh, report about it. Yes. And, um, you know, maybe we can get a little video uh, from it and, you know, show a, a couple segments on, on the show. Um, and, and, and we might not even uh, talk about it. It's just something that... We probably yeah maybe we'll just we upload just upload it and, and, and uh, yeah you yes. can comment on it yeah. exactly exactly but, so uh, you can maybe maybe it'd be good to show a snippet of what indie wrestling looks like yeah exactly that's and, right and like I tell you if you're in this neck of the woods come out tomorrow night we would love to see you in the building um, there's always and if oh yeah and by the way if you're listening to this and there's some indie uh, wrestling in your neck of the woods. Comment, let us know about let us know it. About and, it yes. uh, and maybe we can we get can, out there and check it out. Yeah, get out there, check it out. We can do some research on it if we can't get yes. out there and uh, talk about it and, uh, you know, possibly even promote it. Yes, and I, and or I, at a minimum, I'll invade it. So, yes, yeah. and and I, and there I know, you go, at a bare minimum. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and I noticed on the show a lot of people from around the world, not just here, is uh, that's not, not just here in the, in the U.S. of A. that's listening to us. So, we appreciate that. Yes, and, uh, yes. And if yes, we're entertaining yes. you, uh, uh, we we uh, plan to keep on doing that. Uh, so and if you, and if you have wrestling out in uh, in your area of the world that you would like to uh, speak on, you know, let us know. Yes. Um, we would be glad to uh, to comment on that. Uh, but uh, that's all time. Time is up, and um, I'm gonna sign us off. Uh, this is Harry Bernard Taylor with my man Michael King, the Asian sensation, and my man Christopher Burton, the People's Podcaster. And we bid you good night, adieu, and bang. I know that was backwards, but I don't care. <laughs> Peace be the journey. <laughs>